Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London and this morning on this beautiful summer's day I'm reviewing a book which has come to us from Cambridge University Press. This is only a short review but the book is called Re Re Reconciling Efficiency and Equity and it's subtitled A Global Challenge for Competition Policy. So it's an interesting international book in many ways, coming as it does at a very important time for us both in the United Kingdom and the European Union. It's been edited by Damien uh, Gerard and Ionis Lianos. The uh, book is part of the CUP uh, Global Competition Law and Economic Policy uh, series. And we've given it a title for our review, an exceptional, exceptional explanation of the issues of economic inequality and its interaction with efficiency. And as I say, it's a short review, this one, but let me just show you the book. First of all, it's a hardback. There's the front and then the spine. And then we've got some detail on the back. You probably can't see too much on the back. Let me just tell you a little bit about the two authors. Damien Gerard serves as an official in the Directorate General for Competition of the European Commission and uh, he's also affiliated as an academic to the University of Louvain. And Ionis Lianos holds the Chair of Global Competition Law and Policy at UCL Laws, that's University College London Laws, and is Director of the Centre for Law, Economics and Society at UCL Laws. So they're very uh, academically highly qualified. The book, that's the book anyway. Let's look at the back of it first of all. You get an idea of, of what's in it. There is a short index at the back. The index actually has a page numbering, which you can probably see there, and it's not a particularly big uh, index. But you should find what you're looking for with the index without too much difficulty. And you can see again there's some footnoting used in the book, and there's a conclusion quite often at the end of each of the main chapters. It's a book which is edited by uh, these two gentlemen. Obviously the Global Competition on Economic Policy um, series publishes monographs highlighting the interdisciplinary and multi-jurisdictional nature of competition law and economics and policy. Uh, I say it's edited because obviously there are a list of people who are contributors. There's the blurb from CUP, then there's the general content section which you can see there running throughout the, the book, the various parts that it splits up into which are um, uh, in fact, uh, three parts. There are a total of 23 chapters, the last one being an afterword. And what you've got is, with each chapter, you've got the name of, of the person who has uh, actually contributed the uh, chapter. Then you've got the list of contributors. I can't go through the contributors individually, but you can see the names uh, there. And then we get into the preface, which is written by um, Ian Forrester. Um, and it's a tribute to uh, Eleanor Fox. Uh, now, again, you do re have a read of that and then have a look at the general introduction from the editors uh, there. Again, as I say, you've got a lot of footnoting you can see throughout. Then we get into the various parts after the introduction. We get into part one, you see a little quote, and you get into the, the detail itself. And it, it talks specifically about Eleanor Fox right at the beginning. And I'm not going to say any more, but just to indicate to you that the, the book runs throughout with that structure. You can see there are there is some paragraph numbering in some of the contributions, but it depends really very much on what the individual contributor wishes to uh, do in the way of, of presenting the work. What do we say about the book in, in a short form? We say this, we're all used to the political waffle concerning the economic needs for efficiency, while shedding crocodile tears, of course, over continued economic inequality in competition law. And I think this book is trying to open people's eyes up as to what, what is happening. And as the editors rightly observe, due to the growing influence of economics and um, economists in competition law and policy discourse, and the internationalization of antitrust, uh, antitrust, the equity versus efficiency trade-off debate continues to play a defining role in the transformation of what is called the dominant paradigm governing competition law enforcement since at least the 1970s. And that gives you a general picture of, of, of the 
of what becomes the detail of the work itself. Of course, the debate remains crucial today as issues of economic inequality and its interaction within, uh, with efficiency become of central concern to policymakers and decision makers in competition law. And that's, of course, heightened by uh, what we're going through within the United Kingdom at the moment, which is the debacle of Brexit. Of course, it's also looking at other spheres of public uh, policy. I'm recording this at a time where Britain has not left the uh, European Union, and we don't know what the future for our competition uh, law and policy will be, because clearly, whatever happens, if we do leave, we are going to start having to have a fresh look at where we are economically uh, in terms of our concept of competition policy in the longer term. Now, let me conclude this by saying that despite the central role in the grammar of con competition law on the global plane, and these are the words of the authors, uh, the intellectual underpinnings of the interactions between equity and efficiency in the context of competition law have never been examined in depth. So this is why the book, I think, is of such great value to us. It aims precisely to fill this gap by discussing new approaches in the understanding of the role of efficiency and equity, that is fairness, concerning competition law. That, of course, has been the subject in terms of the political debate, uh, very much the pro and anti groups that we've got at the moment concerning the leaving uh, the membership of the European Union uh, purely and simply because many people think we get a rough deal and they want to look elsewhere for markets in terms of, of competition. So we are actually in a very interesting period of time as I recorded this in the high summer of 2019. The first edition of the hardback book was published on the 9th of May 2019. Let's just have one last look at it. Here it is again. It's a nice cover at the beginning, uh, the, the front. It's sort of balancing, as you can see, the scales of justice, which I think they're trying to um, put forward there. Um, and then what we've got in the middle, chapter 11, this is economic efficiency versus democracy. So you can see they're now not shying away from very substantial arguments. You can see there's a little bit of paragraph numbering there with some subheads and you've got the uh, footnotes. All in all, I'd like to thank uh, Cambridge University Press very much indeed for producing this work, and also, of course, to the contributors and to the two editors, Damien Gerard and Ionis Lianos. Um, I think it's a first-class book, and again, Cambridge University Press have produced a really first-class book for us to have a look at. Thank you so much to everybody involved. Bye-bye. <laughs>